everyone, in this video, we will be solving system of linear equations using equal values method. I will give you some tips on when can we use this equal values method. First, this method can be used if one of the variables, most likely which is y, is isolated such that both equations are in a form y equals mx plus b. So as you can see in both of these equations, they are in a form y equals mx plus b. The second tip is that whenever you get an equation that is not of this form, y equals mx plus b, you can rearrange the equation such that you can have it in y equals mx plus b form. There is another video that talks about how to change from one form to um, y equals mx plus b form or slope intercept form. I will put the link of that video in the description box below. So let's jump into this first example. So we're given this equation y equals 2x plus 4 and y equals 7x minus 11. So both of them, they all have y isolated by itself. So I actually have uh, created this, um, e uh, another card right here written in this card, uh, two cards here are the uh, are these two equations. So we have y equals 2x plus 4 and y equals 7x minus 11. As you can see, y is equal to y. In this problem, both of them are y, so I can go ahead and say y is equal to y. So if y is equal to y, it means that this orange card, which is the y, could also be equal to the other blue card, which is 7x minus 11. So y is equal to y. So pretty much this is the first step. We are going to equate both equations to each other. So since y is equal to y, that means 2x plus 4 is equal to 7x minus 11. Again, y is equal to y, 2x plus 4 equals 7x minus 11. So that we can go ahead and solve for um, x, which is the second step, solve for x. So in this case right here, we're going to write this one first. So that's going to be 2x plus 4 equals 7x minus 11. So then we want uh, to solve for x. So then we can go ahead and subtract 2x from both sides, minus 2x, so that we are left with 4 is equal to 5x minus 11. And then we add 11 to both sides. So plus 11 plus 11. So then we can cross the 11 out. We're left with 5x equals 15. Since we want to solve for x, we can go ahead and divide 5 from both sides. Divide 5 from both sides. So then we are left with x is equal to x is equal to 3. So that's the value for x. Now the third step is to use this value of x and we plug it into one of these equations. That's the third step to solve for y. So then in this case right here, I'm just going to use the first equation here so that I can solve for y. That would be y equals 2x plus 4. Again, you can use any equation. It doesn't matter. So we can go ahead and set up the equation that would be y equals 2. Then we put in the x here plus 4. So then again, our x that we solved here was 3. So I plug this in here. So this would come out y is equal to 6 plus 4. So then our y is 10. So this is the value of y here. So the point of intersection between these um, two lines here would be 3 and 10. So this is our solution or this is the point of intersection between these two um, lines. Now, how do we know if we are able to get our answer correct? So remember, this is our x and this is our y. The fourth step is to check your work. So one way to determine if did we get the correct answer to all the work that we did is to plug this 3 and 10, which is our value for x and y, into the original equation. So it, it has to work for both of them. So then I'm going to show the work to both of them here. So this is going to be the work for the second equation. Let's plug this in. So that is uh, y is equal to 7x minus 11. So then I'm going to plug in the values of x and y that we have solved. So that is um, our y is 10. And then this is um, 3 right here. 
So then this is still a question mark. That means we are not sure if they're gonna be equal. If in any case they're not equal when we do the math, then that means our solution here or the answer that we got here is not correct. So let's see, that would be 10. Is that equal to, that's gonna be 21 minus 11. So 10 is equal to 10 and so we we got we it worked for the second equation now let's see if this would work for the second equation again it has to work to both of them if it works only to one equation that means it is not the solution if it doesn't work to the second it has to be to both of them so the second i mean the first equation right here would be y equals 2x plus 4 so then we uh, change the uh, variables into parentheses and we plug in the value for both x and y so the y here is 10 and then the x is 3 so that we have 10 is that equal we're not sure of this yet 2 times 3 is 6 plus 4 so then 10 is equal to 10 so then our uh solution or the uh values for x and y here is correct since we have proven that on um the checking part right here so again this is one way to check if we got it right and that is step four at this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so I have placed this uh, card right here with, uh, with the equations written um, on it. So the first one is y equals negative 2x plus 1. And then the other one is y equals 3x minus 9. Again, remember both y's are equal to each other. So I can put that in here. y is equal to y. And then, so then that means that this orange value, which is negative 2x plus 1, and the blue one that we have here, 3x minus 9, would be equal to each other since both are equal to y. Or pretty much, we since y is equal to y, it means that this is also equal to the other one. Again, that's uh, what we mean by equal values method. We equal them to each other. So again, the first step, is to equate both sides of the equation to each other. So that would be negative 2x plus 1 equals 3x minus 9. Now others are going to say, can we switch it around? Can I write 3x minus 9 first, uh, 3x minus um, 9 first, and then 2x plus 1 on the uh, left side or on the right side? Can we switch it around? Yes, you can. It doesn't really matter because they're equal. So then from here, we can go ahead and add... Um, 2x from both sides, so plus 2x, so then this would come out, so we can cross this out. We're left with 1 equals 5x minus 9, so we're going to add 9 from both sides, plus 9 here, so we are left with, we can cross this out first, so that's going to be 5x is equal to 10, so then we divide both sides by 5, divide this by 5, so then our um, x is... Two. So the value of x is 2. So I'm going to put this inside the box. So that's the, that's the second step. We solve for x. Now the third step is to use one of the equations. You can use any of them. It doesn't really matter. So but we're going to use the first equation here. Uh, we solve for y by plugging in the x into here. So the original equation is y equals negative 2x plus 1. Again, we plug in the x in here. So that would be y equals negative 2 plus 1. So the x that we solved was 2. So then this would come out y is equal to negative 4 plus 1. So then y is equal to negative 3. So then the point of intersection or the solution would be 2 and negative 3. So this is the point of intersection or the solution. Again, remember this is in um, um, ordered pair. So this is the x and this is the y. And the fourth step is to check our work to see if we got it right. Again, to check the work, we are supposed to plug the value of x and y back into the equation. If it works, it has to work to both of them. If it works only to one of the equations, then that means this solutions that we got for both x and y are not correct. It has to work to both of them. So that is y is equal to 3x minus 9. So we plug in the value here. So it's going to be the y, 3 parentheses, minus 9. Again, the one that we solved, the y is negative 3. 
and then that is a two, and we're not sure if these two are equal. So then we do the arithmetic here, negative three is that equal to six minus nine, negative three is equal to negative three. That means we are correct. It worked for the second equation. Now, again, it has to work for both of them. Now we check it on the first equation. So that would be uh, y is equal to negative 2x plus 1. So then we put uh, we make the uh, variable into a parenthesis and we put in the values that we got. So our y is negative 3 and then this is 2 for x. Are they equal? We're not sure of it yet. So we, we put a question mark on it. So that's negative 3. Is that equal to negative 4 plus 1? So negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. So negative 3 is equal to negative 3. That means we are right. Again, this is the fourth step. We are supposed to check our work if we got it right or not. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. If you found this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!